Hi everyone, we're here in Daytona Beach at Moondance. She's getting ready to go on the dry dock. And again, we're doing some major refitting. This time, we're putting in stabilizers. What we're excited about is the stabilizers. We've been needing very badly because we roll and we tend to be more in the inside the ICW than the ocean because of that. There's a new system out called the DMS Magnus system. With a push of a button from the control console, the Magnus Master deploys in about five seconds. Unlike gyros that take about a half hour to spin up, and it parks in five seconds as well. The system will also park itself when you put the throttle on neutral, which is very useful if you forget when you're going in marinas. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't go on a 50 foot boat loaded with people and they deployed this system and it just took 20 degrees both port and starboard just on the boat right away with that size boat and, and one, um, one system, one bar. It's very small and the amperage draw uh, doesn't uh, require me to run generator. The regular engine run will take care of it. So um, we'll, uh, we're, we're excited to, uh, to share this with everybody. Now this will be the biggest upgrade she's received yet. The guys will be working around Thanksgiving and Christmas here to help us meet our installation schedule. That is one challenge. The other challenge is that this marina has never installed this kind of stabilizer before. But with the help and training from DMS Holland, Daytona Marine and Boat Works, we certified to install future DMS Magnus Master stabilizers. So this is what we started with. And I'll run you through the process. We had this space and we had a lot of measuring to do. Victor took templates, cut, measured twice, and built a composite buildup. A composite material, some fiberglassing, a lot of measuring, a lot of leveling, discussions between DMS and the leveling process. Then the glass was built up over the composite material. And then the shaft was installed. The motors are underneath the boat at this point. And we went from this to this in a matter of two weeks. Your time may vary. But we have the control box located right next to the unit for easy access. And the door opens to be able to get to the electronics. So the control box sits right in the back and takes up almost no room. The unit itself compared to a gyro is a third of the profile. But there's the finished product. The DMS Magnus Master. This is the inverter required to power the stabilizer. This is a Kotec 2500 watt inverter. It converts the required 24 volts from these two batteries, generator and engine starter batteries. Let me introduce to you Patrick Knorr, the owner and founder of DMS and his project manager, Lonnie. Patrick and Lonnie flew out from Holland to oversee our project and instruct the boat works on the installation of the Magnus Master system. Yeah, the system is working on the Magnus effect. So that's why we call the system DMS Magnus Master. And uh, the Magnus effect is, a, is an effect that if something spins in the air, or in this case in the water, uh, uh, it creates a very big pressure up and down. So this rotor is, uh, is rotating in two directions. Now it's in the park position. When, they, when the system goes out, so the rotor is in this position, the water is floating over that tube, and because it spins, it creates a very big pressure up and down. And that's how you stabilize your boat. The boat has to be moving because you need to have water flow over that tube to create the force. And, uh, and, and that was my first question to you. I remember very well, John, why you want a stabilizer system? And you immediately said, for cruising. That's for me the most important thing. And so already on a low speed, you can generate the big force. That's the biggest argument. And of course, there are many other arguments. It's electrical, very low power consumption, retractable. And now that Moondance is the first Nordhaven 35 in the world to receive stabilizers, 
here at Daytona's Boat Works. David and his marina are authorized DMS Holland installers. And that's the nice thing of this rotor. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to put it in the middle of the boat. Right. And uh, as you can see now, if it is retracted, uh -huh. uh, when it's not out, uh, normally the rotor will go out when you use it. It will be like here. So it's stacking out. 90 uh, degrees. Yeah, 90 degrees out of the hull. But you, you get a big lever, you see. Mm -hmm. And also when you, when you don't use the stabilizer in shallow waters or what else, uh, you see that you are much more protected. Uh, yeah, for example, compared to fins. With fins, you're always stacking out. Right. Operate this thing. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. It takes five seconds to deploy. Better than two on one side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never did two on one. Yeah. Maybe a little more like six seconds. There it is. Now it's fully deployed and spinning. Now that the installation of the Magnus Master is completed, Moondance is ready to begin her journey from the dry dock to the intercoastal waterway. The Magnus Master screen located below my radar screen has a test button which forces a roll. It spins the Magnus Master up to full speed and then reverses it. The concept is, if I can produce a 20-30% roll, then I can counter the same. This one is very well. <laughs> oh, especially on the port. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go. Yeah. stabilizers we've got some one to two footers that are really rolling us on the side and there it's a full nice roll there that moves stuff around okay stabilizer just went on see how flat it is well this completes the installation of our Magnus Master system on our Nordhaven 35 this is how it looks fully installed and as you can see it takes up very little space has very few moving parts the two main motors underneath and what you see on top there's little to no maintenance I understand this sounds like a commercial I'm an electrical engineer retired and I saw the potential for this system on moon dance we're a full-time live aboard and cruising is a big part of our life now that our life can be a little bit more stable pun intended corrections on my part we found the system takes about 13 seconds to fully deploy and park but it gives me an edge when I'm in the ICW and there's a boat passing me I can deploy this by the time the boat gets beside me and it takes the majority of the wake and the roughness off love it <laughs>